Whether you are a wine connoisseur, forever a kid in a candy store, never one to pass on a piece of pie, or a grillologist using a few secret elements to make a delicious meal, you won't want to miss this show. Made in Door County, next on Discover Wisconsin. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem For those who look for more And never say they've seen it all Windows and words take a ride The Grandlands great tonight Everyone loves vacationing in Door County, and at the end of our trip, we all want to bring home a little piece of that special place. Could it be something with cherries? Door County cherries are a staple in the food and wine produced here. Our first stop, Sister Bay, home of Sequist Orchards. They're the largest cherry producer in the state with more than a thousand acres of cherry trees. They're also providing the most basic element of Door County products. It's a tart variety known as Montmorency. So our location close to the water is a, a big benefit to us. Uh, there are seven cherry growing areas in, in North America. And every one of them is close to a, the water. And we're surrounded by Lake Michigan here. Half a mile to the west is Bay of Green Bay and two miles to the east is Lake Michigan. So that affects the weather considerably here and it makes it possible for us to raise fruit that that we wouldn't be able to race if it wasn't for that lake influence. Sequist Orchards has a huge store right on Highway 42 in Sister Bay, where tourists load up on all the essential souvenirs from their Door County vacation. Jams, jellies, chutney, dressings. You leave home with kind of a list in mind sometimes. What do you want to pick up? And on that list, pie, of course. The pies are amazing. Made right here at the store completely by hand. No automation here. Pie making is definitely an involved process. For us, it's about four days of prep work, and then it culminates in this pie day, we call it, where we have an assembly line of about 12 people who put together anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 pies. 1,500? Yep. Yeah, in a per day. Per day? Per day. But we only make pies every, about every two weeks. That's a lot of pie. I get to be an honorary sequist for a day and learn the secrets to making the best cherry pie in all of the land. This part. Then I can't wait for the customers to come in and buy my pies. Shh, I'm gonna surprise these people with the pie I made. Hello. Hi. License and registration, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I made this pie. I'm assuming you guys came here for the cherry pie. I hope, yes. right? Of Are you hungry? Yes. You want to try some? Yes. My pies were all very well received. So you guys have made Sequest kind of a tradition. A tradition, yep, every year. Probably at least 15 years we've been coming in. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. And really? why do you love it? It's just, it's homey, it's the people are friendly, the food's good, the it's just fun. The Sequists say the success of their business doesn't rest on the freshness of the ingredients, though everything is as fresh as you can get. And they say it isn't that they're great marketers. We feel that this business has been given to us by God. Um, we try to do the best we can with it because of that. We use the retail end of our business as an opportunity to be a testimony to people regarding our faith. We play Christian music, we give away Bibles, we give away little booklets of things, and we hope that the way we act and treat our customers is a reflection of God's love in our lives, that we can pass that on to our customers. Mm. I hate to brag, but this is pretty good. <laughs> a cherry pie from Sequist, of course life is good, and it doesn't get any fresher than this. It's got a good flavor. I love it. In fact, I think I'll eat it right now. 
Do you want to know more about today's show? Go to discoverwisconsin.com and click on the Made in Door County destination page. Or if you have a favorite Door County souvenir suggestion, go to our Facebook page right now and share your ideas. Now don't go away. Jake's up next. Today we're going to head to Forestville, a great place called Country Ovens. And uh, it's a family-owned business. It's going to be a lot of fun, too. I might even get involved in a cherry pie eating contest. We'll see if they'll let me. Right here on Discover Wisconsin. Welcome back to our special Made in Door County episode of Discover Wisconsin. Our next stop, Forestville. A little off the beaten path, but totally worth it. A ride through almost any part of Door County in the spring means you'll be experiencing breathtaking views of blossoming cherry trees at every turn. Later, it's harvest time, and a lot of the Door County cherry harvest goes to country ovens in Forestville. They make the Cherry Delight product line, dried cherries, as well as salsa, sauces, mustards, dressings, trail mixes, and the list goes on. The products are healthy. Um, they do have products for the sweet tooth too, such as the chocolate covered cherries, so those are my favorite. Each summer, Country Ovens has a customer appreciation party, a true celebration of their cherry products. But what I do with the cherry barbecue sauce is I mix it in with the hamburger meat and then I cook them on the grill and they're awesome. People who come in and say that it's helped them relieve their pain from arthritis, they have, they come back and they tell us, you know, that they, they'll give us a recipe that we've never heard of and it's like the best thing we've ever tasted. So it's, um, we, get, we get wonderful feedback and just very loyal customers and um, it makes us happy to hear those stories, so. But their products aren't just great tasting. For many years, the byproduct, Cherry juice was sold to wineries for cherry wine. Further research showed this byproduct had tremendous health benefits. Country Ovens first bottled cherry juice in family-sized bottles, and then came the creation of a new product, Rapid Way, a sports recovery drink used by teams across the U.S. Uh, we work with uh, University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, we work with Minnesota University, um, Tulane University, Wake Forest, Seton Hall, Milwaukee Brewers, Milwaukee Bucks. San Jose Sharks, so we got uh, quite a list of clientele and it's growing every day. So how does it work? Well, tart cherries are unique because they have anthocyanins one and two, which is a, basically a double dose of antioxidants. Uh, those antioxidants are gonna help combat the enzymes that cause muscle inflammation. Um, they're notorious with gout and arthritis. That's generally what you hear about uh, when people talk about drinking tar uh, tart cherry juice. Uh, but anybody, whether you're on your feet all day, you're exercising, um, you're inflaming your muscles because it's helping protect your body parts. Um, so to keep that inflammation down and to get you through your day, tart cherries is the way to go. The great thing about this celebration, you can try everything they make at Country Ovens. Grillologist Mad Dog and Merrill are also there offering great inspiration as they record their show. We're doing some wonderful ham on the grill today and you can take a little bit of their nice cherry drink and, and you can take that 100% cherry juice and you can actually pour that over the top of a nice ham as a glaze and that works out well. You can take the cherry syrup that we're using today with pineapple and do that over the top and it comes out delicious as a glaze. Ah. I gotta try some of that. All right, no, right now, are you sure? Yes, please. Country ovens, cherry delight, you can't go wrong. There it is. Oh my goodness, fresh off the grill. Yep. Mm. Cherry syrup on there. Oh man, hey, the rest is mine. Come on. Oh, hey. Hey, oh, mm. hey, hey. How about me? Here, you cut your own. Later, I find myself judging a grilling contest where all the participants use Country Ovens products. As we have a uh, pecan crusted grilled chicken breast marinated in the cherry vinaigrette. Um, in the pecan crusting, we took the, the dried cherries, diced them up into the breading. Okay. Um, drizzled some of the cherry delight syrup on top, put the Parmesan cheese, let it melt in. Excellent. Okay. Served over a bed of wild rice. After that, a pie eating contest. Now, I didn't win, but boy did I have fun trying. <laughs> Country ovens, they know how to throw a great party and make some good stuff. Want to know more about our Made in Door County excursions? Head over to discoverwisconsin.com and go to the Made in Door County destination page. Now, don't go away because when we come back, Ah, uh, Door County Cherry Clusters, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Stay with us. We're back discovering more of all things made in Door County on Discover Wisconsin. 
Next stop, Sturgeon Bay, located about a third of the way up the Door County Peninsula, a beautiful little town featuring stunning sunsets on the water. On land, the streets are lined with decorative art pieces and great restaurants and shops. So many summer tourists love the historic district of Sturgeon Bay and one place in particular, an old-fashioned candy store and ice cream parlor called Door County Candy. You just can't find candy stores like this anymore. Kids and grandparents alike lose all track of time. We try and get all sorts of candy as much as our parents would let us. From the new to the nostalgic, Door County candy is as entertaining as it is delicious. Everything from, from booger candy to, <laughs> to the old candy cigarettes that is nobody's supposed to have anymore, but you know, you can see the things that we used to have. We've come here for quite a few years actually. We have a summer place up here in Sturgeon Bay and uh, when we bring the grandkids up we do come in here quite a bit with them when we come and we always end up buying something of course and we enjoy the all the st stuff that's in here along with the ice cream which is very good and uh, just the kids love it in here. Terry Ullman is the man behind it all. We've got 92 year olds that turn into kids in here and that's that's what it's all about. He says owning a candy store is every bit as fun as it sounds. What's what's the most fun you have doing this? I mean, when you think about doing this on a daily basis, what, what do you look forward to the most? Oh, it's the magic of, you know, the people that come in the store and the first thing you hear is like, <gasps> you know. He gave me a taste of the candy store life and shared his techniques for a behind the scenes look at what happens before the store opens each day. You can tell the candy store is a mirror of Terry's fun, friendly personality. I, I tell you to have fun, but I see you're already doing that. Oh, we are. Thank you. It's also a great place to answer age-old questions like, do Smarties make you smarter? I once thought Smarties made me smarter. That didn't work out. It didn't work? Nope. How do you know? Uh, you don't know what you'd be like if you didn't have it? I Maybe it does work. I think you're probably right. <laughs> Candies may have smarter. We'd be in really good shape. I know, right? <laughs> I would eat it all We'd day. We'd all be geniuses. Hey, everyone has their favorite. Uh, the pecan, bear claw, the milk chocolate one. Fudge, ice cream, chocolates. I mean, need I say more? I'm a beeline to the cheese corn. Well, you can't go into a candy store without jelly bellies. Cherry ones, too, in Door County. Ah, uh, Door County cherry clusters, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sour cream and onion crickets? Well, why not? Crunchy, <laughs> tasty. All right, now I'm getting something else. Whether it's a unique delicacy, the candy. This is the best candy in the world. Or incredible ice cream that brings you into Door County candy, one thing is for certain. It brings back memories, that's for sure. <laughs> you'll never leave without a smile. It is the most fun thing. It's like if I'm having a bad day or something, I just come to work and automatically my mood is just flipped. If not because of the employees, it's because of the customers. You know, everyone's always in such a good mood coming to a candy store. <laughs> it's always, it's just a really fun thing. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. Okay, two scoops, please. Uh, one of cookies and cream, another caramel collision, and a waffle cone. And uh, can I get some crickets on that? Door County Candy, a very fun place where you can find just about anything. Want to know more about our Made in Door County excursions? Head over to discoverwisconsin.com and go to the Made in Door County destination page. Now don't go away because when we come back... Guys, I seriously buy this stuff every year. It's Halloween and witch's brew and it's made right here in Door County except I like to buy my bottles of wine in groups of three. So now I'm on the hunt for some sweet cherry. Stay with us. You're watching Made in Door County on Discover Wisconsin. We're in Carlsville, about 10 minutes north of Sturgeon Bay to visit a winery called Door Peninsula Winery. This time, we've come in the fall, another great season to visit one of Wisconsin's most beautiful counties. Door Peninsula Winery is located in a little old schoolhouse, but don't let that fool you. It's vast, huge, I mean really big, with several levels to shop. 
Start with the olive oils and balsamic vinegars at the main entrance and spend some time trying each and every one before deciding to purchase. Then the main attraction, wine. You'll have a hard time choosing from an impressive selection of more than 50 varieties made here. Of course, it's the cherry wine that so many people want. We are in Door County where cherry orchards abound. You can buy single bottles or load up by the case. It's good exercise. We got uh, some for everyone, you know. <laughs> Big families. Big families, like wine drinking family, huh? Yeah, good Christmas presents. See something you'd like to try before you buy? No problem. It's encouraged. And if you find an oversized wine glass in the gift area, take it to the wine sampling counter. They probably won't even notice. There's a lot of wine. People here are wonderful. When you do your tasting, they're very um, helpful picking out wines and you know accommodating it to you. Our winery here is very enjoyable. It's very user friendly. We try to educate our customers, but yet have fun. Um, our weekends are the bomb. We have specials going on. We everybody loves coming here because they can taste all of our products. We have everything is made at our winery here. We are not snooty. We want to teach people about wine and want them to enjoy. Guys, I seriously buy this stuff every year. It's Hollow Wine and Witch's Brew, and it's made right here in Door County. Except I like to buy my bottles of wine in groups of three. So now I'm on the hunt for some sweet cherry wine. <laughs> If you're interested in seeing where the magic happens, Door Peninsula Winery offers tours of their winemaking process located in the cellar. They make 100,000 gallons of wine a year. That's a ton. The tour ends in the distillery where you can observe more of the production process for spirits. Uh, we're now making several vodkas, brandies, whiskey, even a cherry bitters and a cherry moonshine. It's just a fun place to be. We have samples of our wines daily. We have tours showing our whole facility, our operating, how everything's made. Uh, we do have our distillery, also samples in there. We make award-winning gin. We've actually won tons of awards. Uh, cherry vodka, once again, Door Peninsula, we have a lot of cherries. Cherry brandy, that's actually made right from our cherry wine. So that's kind of a unique Door County original. It's a place where customers congregate and, of course, try the product. It's a fun atmosphere, it's, the staff is friendly, there's a huge variety of wines and spirits to choose from. I mean, it's just a fun experience, I mean, to come more for a romantic weekend or more for a group and to have fun and get away. And you get in your car in Milwaukee and then you get out in Door County and the air is just different. Uh -huh. just take a fresh deep breath air, just, oh. Oh, it's nice. We were actually saying when we got here, we're like, this is going to be a yearly experience, for sure. We haven't even gotten here yet, but we already know we'll probably come back every year, Definitely. for sure. Definitely. It's amazing. It's just gorgeous. Dora Peninsula Winery, a fantastic place to get wine and spirits made right in Door County. We hope you enjoyed our special Made in Door County show. I loved the wine at Dora Peninsula Winery, loved pie at Sequist Orchard. Wine and pie, now that's a perfect pairing. <laughs> Jake had a blast at the Door County Candy Store and judging the grilling contest at Country Ovens. If you haven't been to Door County in a while, you need to start planning a trip and bring home a few of those special products they make here. So many great things are made in Door County. For more information and bonus video from this episode, go to discoverwisconsin.com. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discover Wisconsin Radio all across the state. If I do this with your eyes closed at this point, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, not so much.